England have certainly just been dumped out of the World Cup and I am feeling very depressed. I'm hoping this performance can cheer me up a little bit and I say so because it's one of the most legendary performances of all time. It's certainly one of the most legendary festivals of all time. This is Woodstock 69, a kind of seminal moment culturally for the 60s. And this was one of the highlights of the festival. Some kind of dark things happened as well at the same time with the Rolling Stones. But there was certainly some fantastic music that was kind of meshed in with the psychedelic movement that was going on too. So I hope you guys enjoy. This one should be cool. Okay, here we go. This is Jimi Hendrix doing a rendition of the national anthem at Woodstock 1969. That's really cool, man. I didn't know what to expect. So he's, it's definitely the melody of the national anthem, but he's like Jimi Hendrix it, basically, right? He's like twisting and distorting the notes up. Um, really cool. right there he's he's taken the melody of it and he's like added that special source to it right he like does little bits of like flickers of distortion Okay, what's kind of interesting to take away from it is I think when he's on melody and he's doing little additions to it, it works really well. But I think because I'm kind of removed from the time, I think a lot of the tricks or whatever effects he's adding, especially when he goes really far away from the melody, is like really special to people at the time because they maybe have never heard like distortion and the pedals being used in that way with the notes are being bent to such an extreme manner. I think nowadays, just listening to it with with kind of, I don't know what to call it, like experienced ears of hearing this kind of being done before, it kind of sounds a bit strange at times, like he's gone kind of too far. That's just me though. See how he comes back in and it sounds fantastic. That's brilliant.
It's going to be really interesting to hear from the people who were there at the time. We've got a fantastic uh, comment section usually who lets me know about these things. But was this super different to what was being done in terms of guitar playing at, at the time? Is this what was this like blowing people's minds in 69? Because I imagine that's the effect that Hendrix had. He was like a kind of a revolutionary in terms of the way he plays the guitar. That's what I've been hearing, at least, or I've been told. So this must have blown people away at the time, right? I, I guess people will let me know. I played it. I used to have to sing it in school. They made me sing it in school, so it was a flashback, you know. I don't know if I got it. This man oh, was so in the 101st spoken. Airborne, so when you write your nasty letters in... Talk to letters. Well, right. really well people, to when you mention the national anthem and uh, talk about playing it in any unorthodox way, you immediately get a guaranteed percentage of hate mail from people well, who say, how that's dare not anyone. That's not unorthodox. It isn't unorthodox? No, no. I thought it was beautiful. But then there you go. Mm. Don't you find that there's a certain mad beauty in unorthodoxy? Yeah. Really cool, man. I love that this video had that at the end of it. That was awesome, man. Okay, so I took away a couple of things because I was actually going to ask you guys. Do you think he's doing a take where he's, he's kind of making a statement about the national anthem or is he doing a real like heartfelt rendition i was about to ask you guys because to me i thought he was maybe like distorting the the sounds on purpose to maybe make a point about the national anthem but as he says in his own words he thought it was beautiful he was doing something that was heartfelt uh really cool that they added that at the end and i also i think that guy's name is dick dick cavett right dick cavett asks him or says at least he was a paratrooper, right? Is that what he, what 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 he said in in uh, in the beginning part of that interview, right? He he's, he was in the airborne infantry or something like that. He added, so you know, if there's someone who can do it and and not have sort of hate for it as well, I guess it'd be someone who served in the military. Um, really cool, man. Awesome little piece of <clears throat> cultural archive video there, man. That was dope. Um, there were certain bits, I think around this section right here is where he really like added this really cool echo effect as well. I really, to me, it seems like magic. Like, I don't know what the hell he's doing because I have very little musical skills. I played the drums a tiny bit when I was like 15. Um, so it's all magic to me, man. I can't really understand what he's doing, but there was an awesome like distortion echoey thing he was doing in the middle there. Cool stuff, man. That was pretty cool. That actually took my mind off... Um, England losing for like 10 minutes, so pretty cool. Um, awesome video, man. Two thumbs up.